got done from doing a water change, uh, 20 gallons water change, and I got it labeled <clears throat> 5, 10, 20, I mean, sorry, duh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, <clears throat> and that's for me to do my water changes. Um, got me this anemone right here. I was hoping to get my clowns to get in this right here. But they're not working. I don't know why. Maybe someone out there has got an idea. I got two green chromis. The bigger one that's right back there. That was the original one. This is a newer one. The top one. That one right there. Whatever. <laughs> the one in front's the newest one. Um, <clears throat> I got my goby. He likes to hide. And here, and so I just got done from doing a water change about an hour ago, maybe. Got my tang. He or she's enjoying it. Um, got another anemone back there. I got my green, was it green star pileups? <clears throat> They're just blowing in the wind. Got my mushroom. Got my shrimp. <clears throat> I got my zoa, zoanthids, whatever you want to pronounce, zoas or whatever. And I got them. And then I got my one fish back there. And another. And then I mean this one and the one back there I got when I got one rock. They were both on there, so I, they came with the one rock I got when I first got started in the saltwater aquarium. Which was back in October last year. <coughs> this fan right here comes on or wave maker comes on for two three hours four hours cuts off for three or four hours cuts back on so on like that the one right here does the um every hour one hour it's on one hour it's off next hour it's on next hour it's off um actually my overflow box i wish that was black instead of clear it's okay this fan here does the same thing. <clears throat> this comes on for four hours or three hours off, vice versa, and all that. Um, and then, let's see. Put this down. <clears throat> Got some blue lights up there. Got my LED lights. My moonlight for nighttime for from six to eleven o'clock it comes on. I got blue lights. It just lights up, kind of give it a little blue. You can see a little bit in there, a little bit on that right there too. Just give it a little bit of blue here and there. And that comes on, stays on for a few hours, and cuts off, and so on. I said I got everything labeled to what it does so I won't get confused. <clears throat> then my sump area. Ah. Ooh, bright light. Got this off of a jab. Bright, down, bright, yay. Try putting it up here in my aquarium, but didn't do a very good job. So I brought it down here to have better light down in here in the system down here. <clears throat> I got me a three-gallon um, RODI water container. Um, this right here is is for my um, protein skimmer. That looks pretty clean today. <laughs> um, 
get everything on timer so this square looking timer goes to my um, refugium light I need to get some more cheta or something in there I had too much flow and it pretty much ate it all to pieces so <clears throat> Need to get some more of that. I got me a filter sock in there. Um, the one up here says white lights. There's no longer white lights. That's actually that thing in right there. So it actually is going to stay on for four hours and cuts off for about four hours and comes on for a few more hours cuts off and vice versa keeps doing that number um, <clears throat> da -da -da -da. pretty much about it I'm gonna get me a reactor tied into one of these valves right here just have it set over top of the sump right here so if it leaks it leaks into the, into the sump um, <clears throat> other than that it looks pretty clean So I've got everything labeled. That helps me out. And I do my testing and everything. This right here. Test this today after my after I did my water change and she was at four four twenty. Four maybe four twenty or four forty. I can't remember what it was, but I think it was 420, which is supposed to be in good, good parameters and all that. So, I, and I got my test strips. <clears throat> but, um, just want to let you see it. <clears throat> uh, when my refugium light comes on, that's my refugium light DIY. Yeah. <clears throat> a lot of DIY on this one back up here and where you can see how my sump is my stand is actually 2x6's or actually I'm sorry 2x8's yeah 2x8's and then 2x6's in the back right there two of them two pieces but everything is two by eights. And um and these are the one by fours that I did. It's small L cheap DIY system. And I got my I got these coils about um, a month and a half ago I think really haven't seen any changes yet getting impatient uh, mushroom has actually gotten real big he gets he gets pretty big about that big around <clears throat> So far, I haven't seen them grow. Maybe they will. I hope they do. I hope they cover that whole entire rock. I think that'd be pretty sweet looking. And my zoanthids, I like to get them to cover this rock too. If y'all got any suggestions, please leave it in the comment of what to do to get them to grow a little bit. I don't do any dosing at all because everything's been testing perfect so short video so just let me know what you think thank you for watching comment please